I look forward to this. This is a solid HD remake, but it's not without its flaws. So, as soon as you put the disc in, you are greeted at a menu in which you choose between Budokai 1 and 3. That is the first of this game's flaws. It's lack of Budokai 2. Now, a lot of people knew about this way before it actually came out, that it was not going to include Budokai 2. For me, that's not a huge deal, even though Budokai 2 is the only of the Budokai games that I do not currently own the original copy of. I can understand why they would not include Budokai 2, seeing as it kind of is the unwanted middle child between Budokai 1 and 3 in some senses. Now, Budokai 2 is still a good game, but it's just that Budokai 1 has the amazing story, and Budokai 3 has the amazing fighting. Budokai 2, however, had the unique kind of story mode, which was the board game style, that it is somewhat well known for. Other than that, and some of the what-if fusions that I do really like, Budokai 2 wasn't too notable compared to the other two. It still kind of irks me that they would call this an HD collection and only include two games, but that's aside the point. You're still getting a really good deal for $40 and two games. I'll go ahead and start with explaining Budokai 1. One thing that you're going to notice really quick is that there's new music for pretty much everything. Now, I'm fairly certain that this is because of a copyright dispute, the same kind of copyright dispute that caused different copies of RB2 to have different kinds of music. However, you still need to know that there will be different music. You are not going to get the same nostalgic music that you had in the original games. Now, this music isn't necessarily bad, it's just that some of it isn't quite the same. The only time that I would say that the music is flat out bad is in Budokai 1 Story Mode, where it's just not necessarily even bad, it's just incredibly, incredibly unfitting. <laughs> don't you see, Kakarot? You don't have a chance against me! Whoa, what enormous energy! He sure is big. This'll be tough for sure. But I'm ready for him. I'll just have to give him everything I've got, you big ape! Seriously, they had to have some uncopyrighted music that would fit better than that. But I digress. As you may have noticed during those cutscenes, though, the cutscenes are still in 4x3 aspect ratio, which was kind of a disappointment for me. I was really looking forward to seeing Budokai 1's cutscenes in full HD. But no, they just added bars to it, and I understand that cutscenes are a whole lot harder to remaster than gameplay, but still, it just kind of disappointed me. Menus and cutscenes are in 4x3 aspect ratio, which is something you will have to get used to. The gameplay itself is still the same gameplay from what I can tell. Budokai 1 doesn't really have that kind of fun gameplay, so really, in all perfect honesty, if you're not very interested in its story mode, then you might not even want to play the Budokai 1 game, and you'll probably want to stick to Budokai 3 for the most part. It is the exact same as it was before. I mean, that's the purpose of an HD remake, of course. So there isn't really a whole lot that I can say about gameplay that you guys don't already know. If you guys do want to know how good certain gameplay is, then you should probably look up reviews for those individual games. However, I did pretty much already explain it earlier. Budokai 1 has meh gameplay but a pretty decent story mode, and Budokai 3 has a nice long story mode that's very skippy and limited. However, the gameplay is by far a lot more fun than Budokai 1's. Budokai 1 doesn't have very many characters, and Budokai 3 has a pretty healthy roster. A lot of the characters, however, aren't that self-explanatory on how to unlock, and you'll probably find yourself googling how to unlock many of the characters. Overall, the gameplay parts of the remake look pretty decent. Budokai 1 still looks okay, and I kind of like how they didn't make it look as good as Budokai 3, because you kind of do want there to be a little bit of a difference sometimes, at least I did anyway. And Budokai 3 looks nice and bright, almost Burst Limit tier. It's still pretty far from looking as good as Burst Limit, but that's the difference between remastering and remaking entirely. Everything is still intact, however, and like I said, aside from some of the musical differences, this is the same game that you got before. I haven't noticed any major bugs or glitches in the remaking, except for one thing that kind of bothers me. I can't find a way to return to the menu in which you pick your game, short of going to the dashboard or the home, depending on if you're on the Xbox or the PlayStation. So, if you're playing Budokai 3 and you decide all of a sudden that you want to play Budokai 1, it seems the only way is to completely exit the game and then restart it. That's not a huge problem since there are very few instances in which I'm playing one and I suddenly want to play the other, but it is kind of a little downfall that I don't get why they haven't added something like that in. Another thing that you guys should definitely take notice of is that there is no online for this game, and that is kind of a big disappointment, at least for no online in Budokai 3. I mean, honestly, I would have very well been willing to spend the full $60 for this if they had put online in it. 
but I already had the original Budokai's 1 and 3, so this didn't seem like a huge deal for me to get. But it was only $40, so I was willing to spare with it to see what it was like. Online would have definitely made this game a whole lot more worth it. That and or including Budokai 2. With all of this being said, I can basically say that if you do not have the original Budokai 1 and 3 games, then you should look into getting this because it's a pretty good deal for bang for buck value. If you do still have the games and you're not incredibly interested in seeing them in this okay remastering of HD, then you probably shouldn't need to look into this. I would say that this is kind of an HD collection for the new generation of people who haven't played them already, or maybe for people my age who played them as kids and want to re-experience them on their new consoles and maybe still don't have their PlayStation 2 sitting around. I can basically say that if you liked the original games, you're gonna like this collection quite a bit if you don't mind some of the music being different and a few little random quirks here and there in it. Overall, I would say this is a pretty decent deal for $40 currently and it'll probably drop in price fairly soon. I'm going to give Dragon Ball Z Budokai HD Collection a B. Yeah!